We're going to start another graphic design tutorial today using CorelDRAW 14's or CorelDRAW X4's contour tool. And I'll give you a little preview up in the top left corner of what we want to uh, achieve when we're all finished. Uh, it's basically a, a character, uh, any, any text character, any collection of characters. And then we're going to place this outline around the outside uh, equidistant from the, from the edge of the contour, from the edge of the original letter. So to get started, we're going to start with our uh, text tool, and we'll go ahead and pick a uh, Rockwell Extra Bold font. And to make it clear for today, I'm going to go ahead and pump that up to uh, 200 points. And we'll start with a uh, about an uppercase B. Okay, and I'm going to grab my pick tool, just move this down so it's centered a little bit so you can see a little better, and maybe I'll even take it a little bit bigger so that we can see what we're working with. Okay, the contour tool is effect, and under the effects menu, you'll see you can pull down contour, and the docker comes all the way off to the edge of the page where you can't see it right now, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that docker and bring that onto our desktop so that you can actually see. There are three tabs across the top. The first works the contour steps, that's the number and spacing for this outline. The second tab works the contour color for both line and for the fill. And the third step uh, controls the rate of these steps. And to be honest with you, that's a tab I never used. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, change. We want to start by selecting the outside. Okay, uh, again, most of the time you're going to select this so the outside of your contour is where you're going to be working with. And your default setting for this is probably going to be 0.1. Okay, and we can change all that later on. Okay, we're also going to need to go to the uh, color step, and we're going to be able to choose our line color and our fill color. And before I do that, I want to go ahead and make sure that my line is going to be visible for this. And let's suppose we're going to be screen printing this. For beginning screen printer, you want to have a minimum line weight of about four points. So we're going to go ahead and select our outline pen and tell it we want a four point outline. Make sure it's black and hit the OK button. OK, so at this point we have chosen a uh, black line that's going to go around our text. The fill behind that is going to be white. I'm OK with that, so I'm going to tell it to apply. Now the beauty of this is that we can go ahead and change any of these settings as long as this is highlighted just by going back to the tab. And let's say I want to have a little bit more space between there. I can go ahead and change my offset. I'll increase it actually maybe to 1 point, uh, 0.15 and hit apply from there and you can see we brought that up and some of the things you might want to look for as a designer are the fills that you have in here okay uh, inside your letters uh, sometimes you have a small fill that's be inside this end you might want to avoid that uh, or you may want to include it so again you can change these things depending upon the the text that you choose and the effect that you want okay I'm gonna go ahead and leave that right there I'm gonna hit the apply button and that's basically set for our contour. Okay, now let's take a name. And uh, if I go ahead and just text in uh, a new name here. And I'm going to ahead and change that to brush script we'll take it down to 150 points. We don't want it to be too big. Okay, and just as before, I can select the name. I want to go ahead and pick an outline that's going to be visible. So again, I'll pick uh, four. I'm going to cut it down to three for this, this instance here. And three is also good. And again, it's set for outside. That's what I want. Okay, um, I can change my colors here. And for this one, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and hit Apply. So now you can see we have a name. And because the font's a little smaller, and because the uh, text is different, we have some issues here and also maybe too much of a space in here. So I can go, again, go select my object, go back to my uh, steps control and maybe decrease this a little bit. 
okay, decrease the offset. And again, that's going to bring that up to there. Okay, it's going to give me more definition around my letters. And that might be something that, that I like a little bit better that way. Okay, last, supposing I wanted to make this uh, appear to be stitched, okay, onto a fabric. Well, that's easy enough to do. I'm going to go and I'm going to select the very outside edge of the contour. And from here, I can go up to my Arrange button and choose Break Contour Group Apart. Now, if you select the middle part, that will not be a, an option for you. You must select the very outside edge. And what I have now is I have actually separated the contour from the original character. I'm going to undo there or Control Z. Okay, so now I can take and select this outside contour and I can apply a contour to it. Okay, and I'm going to keep it maybe basically the same. Maybe I'll decrease it a tad. I'm going to go to my um, outline and fill here and I'm going to choose a gray color and apply from there and I'm going to select again arrange break contour group apart and now what I'd like to do is go to my outline tool outline pen okay and just to refresh you what we've done here is we've actually taken made a contour around the contour and we broke that apart also. So right now we're only dealing with this outside gray edge here. And again, what I want to try to do is create a stitched effect. So from there I can go ahead and maybe take that down to about two points and then choose a line that's going to look like stitches. You don't want to go uh, too far apart. Okay. We can hit OK. And if it's something we do want to change later, we can. And right now you can see this inside line took that as well too. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do, is it? Uh, so how do we fix that? Well, it's easy. Control Z or undo. Okay, let's come back to here. We're going to select just this outside part. Arrange. Okay, break contour group apart is not an option there. Group. Okay. Undo from there. So we've selected the outside. And now we're going to go ahead and go to our tool here. Outline pen. Back to three. We're going to go ahead and choose that dotted line. Okay, and that's what we want to have right there. So that's going to give the illusion again that this is a stitched patch uh, to go onto our uh, onto our uh, apparel that we're working on, and uh, it's yet another effect that we can do using the contour tool in CorelDRAW.